In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're gonna go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Feels like we're traveling the Northwest Passage, something that I always wanted to do. We've been here all of 15 minutes and we're already seeing icebergs. Oh, it's just a little too far out. First time I've ever seen a caribou, I'm pretty sure anyway, especially in the wild. This week we find our first boondocking location in Newfoundland. We endure frigid winter conditions. An iceberg comes to us and we get two very special visitors. And of course, stunning views all the way around. This is Cape Norman Lighthouse, all the way in the northwest corner of Newfoundland. And I think we're gonna spend a few days here. Now, of course, this is the off season. It's April 22nd. It's got about a 30 mile an hour wind and it's cold. So we have not seen anybody at all in the last 20 hours. But it is remote. There's not any big towns around us. And I think this is gonna give us a perfect chance to catch up on some editing and hunt for icebergs at the same time. And we've already seen a few here, but look at the view right from our van. And a little story, last night I took Rudel out to go to the bathroom and you know, the lighthouse is right behind us and it's operational and it started to snow and it started snowing pretty good. And I looked up the lighthouse and the beams of light, you could just see the snow dancing and I think Carrie caught a little bit of this on video and we'll share it with you, but I thought it was pretty magical. I'm looking forward to just exploring the surrounding area and maybe catching a giant iceberg. Going, eh? Taking Rudel outside. <laughs> You're dressing up like an Eskimo. Well, there's a 30 mile an hour wind blowing and it's only about 30 degrees, so it's gonna feel a lot colder than it is. Two hats. You have your bomber hat, you know. This works just fine. I just need goggles. I could get the uh, snorkel goggles out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Rudel's ready. Okay, so you got a heavy sweater on. Then you got your puffy jacket on. You got my big winter coat. And your big winter coat. Not getting cold. You got special gloves? Yeah, I got these wool gloves. They're Patron Gentry, made me. They're homemade. She fit them to your hands yeah, when we visited. They are fit to my hand. And they keep my hands warm no matter how cold it is outside. And they can get wet and they'll still work. She did a good job on the color. She did. All right, time to go. You ready, Rudel? Take your ball.
sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within Oh, dreamy, breezy we go Easy, easy on our tiptoes Are you warm? No, I didn't get cold at all. It's not bad when you walk around, huh? You walk around, you're all dressed up to protect against the wind. It wasn't bad at all. It's just getting out there. Yep, the initial. But everything kept me warm. See any polar bears? No polar bears. See lots of ice? I think I saw some caribou scat. Though. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Did you? Yeah. And you, I wouldn't think they'd be out here because there just doesn't look like there's much to eat, but apparently they do come out here. Dave is not a picky eater. He'll eat just about anything I make. What did you say about dinner tonight? <laughs> this is probably the first time ever I can say this. You didn't really outdo yourself on this meal. <laughs> <laughs> It's a new soup recipe, and it wasn't really that good. I have to agree with him. <laughs> we won't be showing this one on camera. <laughs> How can the day go wrong when you start off with morning brutal snuggles? What a difference the night can bring, huh? Oh, it's windy all night. You can see, well, you can't see, that's a problem. I think a little rain squall is coming through. But that's all ice. Yesterday that was all clear. And as you can imagine, it is quite cold. You gotta dress up warm to be out here. Brutal doesn't care, he's got a nice fur coat. Oh, get it, Brutal! Okay. The wind, if it wasn't for the wind, I could endure the cold temperatures. But the wind is just biting. Makes your eyes water, makes your face sting. Everything else is nice and warm. I got layers on, but. Woo! Let's come to Newfoundland in the winter. It'll be fun, Dave said. It's fun. I mean, where else do you get to see a view? Like we did coming across the Straits of Bell Isle, where we got escorted by Coast Guard Icebreaker. I mean, that's epic. And it'll be all worth it when we see the gigantuan icebergs that's why we're here and you need ice see icebergs so it's going to happen
think today might be a good inside editing day. What are you doing, Mommy? Ah. Rudolph. Pretty good to be a dog. I think her name is Rudle Doodle. Being here this time of year is an exercise in patience. You have to be patient with the weather, patient with the sun. You have to put on your winter clothes, go outside. And if you look closely and be patient, you just might see some sea otters playing in the ice.
And if you're patient enough, you might just see the solar northern lights. If you're patient enough to stick it out and wait for the clouds to clear. It looks barren and desolate, but it's beautiful and it's teeming with life. You just have to be patient and look for it. There's icebergs on the horizon and you guessed it. You have to be patient. The ice flow is preventing them from coming in. But one of these days, the ice flow is gonna flow out and those icebergs are gonna flow in and our patience will have paid off. Riddle and I made it to the beach but we found some treasures. This is a sea urchin. Well, it's a dead sea urchin, but the gulls are bringing it. <laughs> it's not a ball, buddy. <laughs> the seagulls are bringing it on shore and dropping it, and they're eating the animal out of it. This is what it looks like before all these spiky things fall off. Here's one that's broken. And they end up being this beautiful little shell. And they're everywhere out here. There's just remnants of them everywhere. What an amazing find today. Somebody has been eaten really good. Look at the size of this. What do you guys think? I think this might be a lobster. Does that kind of look like a lobster? Wow. What do you think, buddy? You can take it. <laughs> okay, here, how about this, bud? There you go. No, you can just barely see the lighthouse right up here. Erdl and I walked all the way along that beach, all the way along this point, which it looks like you can drive on when there's not snow. I came all the way over here, picnic table and a garbage can. And this definitely is a road. So when it's not winter time, you can drive out here. That's pretty amazing. Right now it's snow covered. Once you get out, start moving, you forget about how cold it is. Of course you gotta dress up. We've had these bomber hats in the van for five years. Never really had a necessity for them, but boy, they are coming in handy here in Newfoundland. And my new jacket that Dave got me at the thrift store in Florida, where I kind of laughed, is also coming in very handy. And it's just an enjoyable walk once you get out and start moving. So I guess the moral of the story is, even though you don't feel like it, dress up and do it. 
You'll thank yourself later. Okay, so there's a lot of things to like about this area. My favorite thing is that we're right next to a lighthouse and we're perched up on a little bit of a cliff. So you get the whole view of the water. Yes. Now this is a beautiful spot for sure. Now this is Cape Norman Lighthouse. It's kind of off the beaten path, but you know it's right up our alley. And you're not going to find it very easily on any of the tourist information. It's about 20 to 30 miles from St. Anthony, which is going to be your refueling or resupply spot. Yep. Okay, so what do you need to know? What do you need to know? Rig size, I wouldn't suggest anything over about 30 feet because there just isn't much turnaround space here. And if you're pulling a small trailer, you might be able to get away with a teardrop or tent trailer or something extremely tiny. Yes. But that's about it. This is a delicate area. They are trying to really preserve it. There are rare flowers out here and they only want you to stay on established roads and trails. So there are only a handful of spots, maybe five at most that you might be able to boondock on. Now in the peak season, I would ask permission. Yeah. Um, we are here in the end of April um, and there's nobody here because nobody's crazy enough to be here. Yeah, I'm not even sure I recommend <laughs> April as a month to, for a destination to come here because there could be so much snow that you can't even drive up here. Yes. So we're, we took a big risk, but it did pay off for us. Yeah. Now, as far as amenities, there's nothing here. You need to come prepared. You cannot be digging holes to bury your human waste here. This is an area that will not allow that. And so you need to come self-prepared. There's no water, there's no trash, there's no garbage. There's nothing this time of year. The one thing there is, is cell connection. So we were able to get Verizon and our plan does cover Canada and Mexico. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty special to have that out here. We are getting three and four bars of Verizon LTE. We are limited to two gigabytes of fast speed data a day. And then we are slowed down to 3G, which hasn't been a problem. It allows us to surf, to research, to look at our uh, internet channel, and we haven't had any problems. But now, it is not strong enough for us to upload a video, so we will be going into St. Anthony to use a library for that. Yep. What did we miss? Um, what are some of your favorite things about this? I know you really didn't say much. I love just waking up in the morning and opening the window just to see what the night has brought in because it changes every day. We have been watching the ice ebb and flow with the tide. And the first day we got here, it's clear, no ice at all, and it was beautiful. And then the next day, the ice rolled in. Yeah, we got to see icebergs, and then we even had sea otters come in with the ice. So it's just, uh, you never know what you're going to see out the window first thing in the morning. How so. could I forget the sea otters? I know, that's what I was waiting for you to say. <laughs> sea otters are my favorite <laughs> animal ever. Uh, and this morning we were treated to a mini iceberg. Yeah, we got a, it, it's, well, I estimate it's at least 24 feet high, so. And it, we can see icebergs out in the distance and it looks like there's some massive ones. Again, we are a bit early, so let's talk a little bit about that, I guess. Um, most of the tourist things do not open here until mid-May. Yeah. So again, we took a big risk coming in this early. A lot of the roads and boondocking areas are still heavily snowed. Yeah, you in. can't even get to most of them. So <clears throat> I would suggest not coming until then. Yeah. If you come, even in May, you're going to need a heater. We have the Webasto STC 2000 yeah. um, and it has been working like a champ. And I will say it's probably been running about four or five hours a day. Yeah, without it, we, we wouldn't have made it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty much it. It is dog friendly here, but we can't have Rudel running off everywhere. We have to keep him on the road or the paths. And also there is a little bit of glass scattered around. So I've been watching out for that. Yeah. Did we talk about the bathroom issue to make sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's no, you cannot dig any holes here. <laughs> 
Um, this is a beautiful area. I can only imagine in the summertime that you can just come here and watch the whales. Oh, so, uh, yeah. This is so pristine. Please, please, please come. Be respectful. Leave it better than you found it. And they will continue to let us enjoy these beautiful spots. Yeah. I can't see anybody be a disappointed after coming here. Yeah. What a place to start off our trip. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for watching and we will see you next week. See you next video. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.